Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Josh and Jason Money Christian and Conspiracy Podcast. I am your host, Josh Monday. If you don't know me, I'm a Christian rapper, devoted husband, father, and army veteran. Like to introduce to my co-host, he's a Christian, devoted husband, and father. What is up, Jason? How's it going, bro? Good. I'm out of Red Bull now. I'm a little... Oh, no. Better grab it. Another one. <laughs> it's a delicious... No, I can't have two, but it's a delicious beverage, too. Oh, yeah, we want to let Catalyst talk, all right? Because if we start yeah. drinking too much Red Bull... Yeah, what? <laughs> all right, so we have... Finally, bro, we finally have Catalyst Jones from the White Rabbit Podcast. This is my brother from another mother. Uh, we both rap. Uh, we both love a biblical cosmology and flat earth. We both uh, we got so much in common. It's insane. We love conspiracies as well. And we both love God. So what's up, Catalyst? How's it going, bro? Man, it's going great. It's uh, it's like I said, it's been a long time in the making. Uh, before we started recording, uh, we had this planned out a long time ago. Uh, to the point where I even forgot that we were going to talk about. But <laughs> the subject that I want to get into today is th my second favorite conspiracy. It's Flat Earth is always going to be probably my favorite one. But the celebrity cloning and cloning in general um, is is one of those that it, once you dive down, it, it, it never stops. It is incredible. And not only that, you keep seeing it in real time. So it's pretty wow. awesome. Awesome, bro. Well, let's let's get into it. It's it's something I haven't studied a hundred percent, like a whole bunch, but I've seen a lot of you know memes about it and posts and stuff like that. And I know that Bill Clinton at one time, I think in nineteen like nineties or something like that, was talking about we, we can clone people now, but we're gonna put regulations on it. You know what I'm saying? And who believes that guy, right? Right. Well, that was 1997, and the embryologists at uh, Roslyn Institute in Scotland uh, announced that they had successfully cloned the sheep, and they named it Dolly, right? Is that what you're, you're yes, talking about? Yes, that is, yes. Yes, and Bill Clinton uh, said that there was humanity and moral issues that were involved with that and where it could go, and who's he to say what's moral these days? But um, Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Who's, he can never say what's moral at any time in his life, bro. He's he sold out. Moral, that's the most moral <laughs> man I've ever, ever heard speak, dude. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I do not have sex with him. Yeah, he yeah, didn't have sex. <laughs> right. Liar. All right. All right. right. So, um, <laughs> Where, where a good place to start with this is, is I, I like to go back as far as I can get it. And um, in the 60s, there was a doctor named Dr. Peter Bender, and he was talking about how we had successfully created organic robotoids, not necessarily a clone, but it was a machine um, that basically the Terminator had tissue and everything and said that we replaced President Jimmy Carter with one of these things. Wow. Um the guy, the guy, Dr. Peter Better, he basically was the inventor of podcasts, even though um, the guy from No Agenda claims to be. This guy was doing it back in the 60s, but what he was calling him was like uh, audio audio diaries or something like that. And wow. you go back and listen to these things, and, and there's like a progression of from the organic robotoids into actual cloning. And um, from that rabbit hole, I found out about Donald Marshall. Have you guys ever heard of or dove into Donald Marshall at all? No. Mm -mm. Okay, Good stuff. Well, yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> so, Donald Marshall, it, this is insane. I'm actually going to read some stuff from his uh, website, but he hasn't been doing anything lately. But back in uh, 2011, Donald Marshall came out and started making posts talking about how he was getting taken basically his consciousness was getting taken and putting into these clones at night when he would go to sleep at the celebrity cloning center. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pull up. He has a website. If you guys want to uh, check this out on your own, because never take anything that I say at face value. I want everybody to do their own research. Do you want me to like look up the website so people can look at it or anything like that? Yeah, you want to, it's a uh, Donald, Donald Marshall revolution.com. Okay. Let me just share screen here. Let's do that. I got so many things open up. Wow. Okay, let me make sure never, I use never, Google. Never, never trust a guy named Donald. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, no, it's just like you know, Donald, people are gonna go. I'm Donald Trump. Trump. I'm I, I, Donald I, I, Trump. Trump. <laughs> no, Donald Trump is one thing, but it, <laughs> I'm just I, I met some people when I was growing up. I don't up trust Donald, Donald Trump either, bro. And I've never <laughs> trusted a Donald. What's before, what's ever. the website, bro? Donald it, Doug uh, and nobody. Uh, Donald Marshall Revolution.com. Marshall is exactly how it sounds with two L's. 
Donald Marshall Jr. At Revolution? Uh, Revolution.com. Not at. Not at. Oh, okay. Revolution. It's probably going to pull up if I click that. Human cloning right there, dude. Bam. Donald Marshall, revolution.com. Let's now go. You're flagged. You're flagged. You're looking at the, <laughs> the, yeah. the computer just shuts down. Yeah, like, they come to your to house to right to Why is there a black van outside my door right now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Thing. All right. Okay, cool. So this is the website. This is the website. And he has wow. kind of like an, an overview. It goes over it. And uh, he's been on. If if you go like to about or I wouldn't even go to the cloning go about yeah. Donald Marshall Awakening. He's got part one, I, part yeah, two, would, part three. Part, part one. Okay, looks like that's it. Pulls it right up. Yes. Um. Oh, sorry. Does that the guy? That is the guy. And if there, jeez, that thing flies. Uh, that has him dead on the cover. Is Really? Yes. Um, and that's, Mega Death Album, man. I used to, that's crazy. Wow. So I'll give you a brief overview because this is a lot to read in here. But um, he was basically saying that his consciousness, his parents sold him at the age of five years old. And um, his consciousness was being put into these clones at the cloning center. And basically, it was just a, a lame duck body until the consciousness would go into it. And he claims... Now, these are all going to sound extremely crazy, but every conspiracy does when we first jump into it. Excuse me. And he, he is claiming that they were putting his consciousness into one of these clones that was his actual body. And at the cloning centers, they were using these for, it says it right there, to attend secret meetings um, as a child, five years old. Um, but he, he calls out so many people from um, Vladimir Putin to the Queen of England, uh, all these world leaders were coming together and they were doing this back in the seventies, I believe is when it started. And, um, yeah. Driven consciousness transfers. Yeah. I, Ari, I, heard a weird thing about, I heard a weird thing about Disney doing this, like doing things like this with the, with the child stars, like, yeah. like making them in a, in a, basically making them in a test tube and then, you know, putting them out. And it's like, uh, maybe that's why the, you start seeing these people freeze up all the time now. Like you see a lot of these people just like kind of like just stop and then it's like you're like, hey, what's wrong with that person? And like, hey, snap out of it. And like, oh, what's going on? It's right. Like maybe we're they're just we're definitely gonna get into some of that. Nice. Um, so, so what he's claiming here in a nutshell is that he would be going to these cloning centers. That's uh it's actually in eastern Canada. Yeah, it's right there in eastern Canada. And um, well, there's more now, but they're in underground bases, so <clears throat> They were having meetings, and that's how the world leaders would get together. But they started getting bored with these meetings, so they started cloning celebrities so that they could do whatever they want with these celebrities without actually harming the actual celebrity. Whether it was – and this is going to get kind of gruesome, guys. It was like uh, murder, rape, like all the worst things that you can think of, they were doing it. And they had like a gladiator pit, so they were putting them in and, and making them go against each other with swords and other – weapons and stuff wow. like that it's crazy bro um where donald marshall's story uh a lot of it that he says uh, adds up um he says that in order for them not to harm him because when they did kill him he would wake up in his body in his real body in bed and you know a lot of people well, yeah people have crazy dreams but this was happening to him on a on a regular basis and so what he would do is he would get together with these other kids that were there nightly or weekly or however often it was, and they would come up with songs so that they could try to entertain the world leaders. And this guy claims to have written Hotel California, basically every major song that you've heard, Hotel California. Oh, um, my God, dude. Uh, what you're talking about right now, dude, is is bringing back something that I looked up when I was going through these these uh, uh Oh man, these like these crazy kidnapping files, and there was a letter from that sounds just like this written saying, "Look, I'm I'm tortured daily. They make me sing. They make I have a I have a beautiful voice, so they make me they keep me alive only to to sing to the to the elites and 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 they do so. Just it, it sounds exactly like this. I might have maybe I uncovered this guy's letter or something because it was a weird letter and it sounded just exactly same exact way you're explaining this stuff." It sounds exactly like this letter. He's like 
asking for help. He's like, please, somebody help me. I'm, I, I can't leave. They won't let me leave. But I am, I am, I'm telling you, they, they, they raise people to become stars. They, they raise people to become uh, uh, people on movies and, and, and theater and stuff like that. They raise these kids to do this and, and music. And like you said, they torture. It's weird. Like you're, you're saying this because this, this, this letter was been on my mind for so long and I've never really got to talk about it. So right on, dude, thank you for that. This well, is crazy. That's, this awesome, is, this... That, that's awesome that you just brought that up too, because you said that he can't leave, right? What are the, what's one of the lyrics in hotel California? You can go, it, we can never leave. You, 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 you exactly. gotta stay. Yeah. They stab it with the steely eyes, but they just can't kill the beast. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah, he claims to have written Teen Spirit. He claims to have written uh, uh, so many famous songs. And one thing that he does have going for him is that, like I said earlier, is that he is on the cover of Megadeth. And I can't remember the album Megadeth, but if you want to pull up Megadeth album covers, it's dead ringer of this guy. And he's and he's laying there. Donald Marshall's laying there uh, all stabbed and bloody. And uh, so that's his that's his one thing that I'm like, hey, he's not lying about that, that at least like, yeah, there you go. Album covers, maybe even put Donald Marshall. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I could probably that probably work. Huh? Uh, Megadeth, Adam, Donald Marshall. Yeah, let's try that. Boom. OK. Wow. Oh, it's this? this? So that's him right there, and then you did with the skeleton crawling yeah, right out there. of his chest. Yeah, see that right there? Wow. And, but this one right here? No, uh, the one on no. the right right there. Oh, yeah, there you go. There oh you go. I see his if face. Wow. On the, very top, on the very top left one, it shows him oh. like side by side. You know, like, but, oh, yeah, yeah. So that's his fit. Wow, with this coming it does, out? It does look like him. Damn, Damn. That looks crazy, bro. Oh, my goodness. Especially if you look at it that way. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. It's not my neck. All right, that's crazy, bro. All right, all right. So that's him right there, and that's him. You see, you see, guys. That's the guy, and that's who they say it is. Dang, he's all bloody too. Oh, satanic, bro. They probably Let's kill go him back. Too, like you said, they killed him. If he has, I wonder how many clones he has. Like I remember that movie with Kevin, or uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, oh man, the guy that played Batman. I know you're talking about Michael yeah, Keaton. Yeah, yeah, Michael Keaton. Multipli multiplicity. Yeah, yeah, multiplicity. Dude. After a while, they get dumber and dumber, dude. That, that was the line. And I'm pretty sure the gene pool starts to like, gets laid off after a while. You know, that's <laughs> <laughs> he's like I like thief the thief. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure these like like I was watching the the debate last last night, and you can say maybe Joe Biden was cloned because that guy sounds like a. That was horrible to watch. I don't think I'll ever watch another one again because it's it's because I hear a lot of stories about him. Like that's that's not even him at all. That was a super entertaining debate. Whether or not you follow politics, it, or just watching his his dumbfounded look the entire time. Uh, scary, man is like thirty percent of the people said that uh, that Joe Biden won that debate, and I'm like, wow, are we not watching the same thing? Or do you guys? They said they said after he, he they said after he went to uh he went to like a uh, after a party or whatever, and he was talking just fine, like he didn't have that scratchy voice, nothing like that. I'm like, what the heck happened? This guy was just talking like he had laryngitis, and he was talking all fine. He was all spry and all like perfect. I'm like, this look like the guy that was on that debate. They're like it was like, oh my. <laughs> I, I to, he probably uh, had to smoke some handicap. meth before he got out there, bro. <laughs> I got a handicap. I probably snorted some of his sense. He probably coming. smoked some meth. His voice got <laughs> all messed up. He, <laughs> he had to wake up, bro. He's like... He that dry mouth, that, that really Just kidding. super dry mouth. Just kidding. Sorry, guys. All right, let's 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 go. Let's go. That's right. All right. Let's get back to this. I do want to throw in there that he did refuse to take a drug test before the debate, so... Wow. Yeah, you know what, guys? Hey, he's, he's, a little, he's old, so we'll just... Yeah, we'll keep it at that. Yep. Let's what do you mean, keep it at that, dude? He's <laughs> old and just, it's, he's evil, dude. He's, they, they, I was watching the thing when he got honored with that medal. He looked like he was going to, he was freaking out. They were giving him that, what is that, medal of, uh, well, I don't know what it is. I know you're talking about. Island? The one they give to, uh, they gave the, they gave the Oprah and all them. And, and it's like and, a, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's like a star. I don't know what it is, but I know. Yeah, I know it's like the medal of, of Amer like American, something like that. But he looked petrified. Like he looked like he was so scared to receive this. It looked like he was about to crap his pants. I was like, why is his face like that? Then you bring this stuff up and, and I've been really wanting to dive into this 
but I've never really got it because it's just like some of the stuff you get is kind of too far fetched. But I think I'm gonna look into this stuff. This is pretty interesting because well, it's, Catalyst it's, is gonna get you get at least get us started on search looking into it and searching. You know, so what I'm, we need I'm to search. Them, I don't know if I want to call. It, is, it, is it? Can I call you Catalyst or Cat or what, what are you doing? Is, yeah, I go by Catalyst. All right, cool, cool. All right, I don't want to say I didn't. I you're good, brother. You. So uh, <laughs> the thing that kind of throws me off about Donald Marshall and the reason why I stopped really uh, look, well, he quit uh, posting and going on to anything really is I think he started drinking heavy and I don't even know if the guy's doing okay anymore. Um, well, yeah, he, probably because of PTSD, bro, from all this, dude. Oh, of course. Like really bad. So, man. So he would die in one clone and end up in his own body again? Or, or is that yes. what they're... That's yes, insane. yeah, mo multiple, multiple clones of him there, just like Britney Spears, um, but we'll get into that later. So um, what threw me off about Donald Marshall, the biggest thing that threw me off about Donald Marshall is that um, he gets into the Vril and the and different reptilians and stuff like that and says that these things are there with the queen at the, at the um, cloning centers and stuff like that. And back then, that was just a little too much for me. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to listen to what this guy has to say anymore because he he described different uh, lizard people in different ways. But who's yeah. to say there's different species? So I, I don't know. I need to dive back into that one and maybe give it a second a second go around. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, bro. Like I, I'll hear something that someone says and then it just it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Sometimes like I get off their trail too. Same same thing, man. What trail? Yeah. Uh, like uh, uh, people and stuff? No, 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 no. What, what happens is some of the people that I'm like starting to study and research, then they, they might say something like, you know, there's a base on the other side of the moon or something. I don't know. You're, they say something. You're just like, ah, oh, dang it. You know, it just throws me, off their, throws me yeah. off their trail, like Catalyst said. It happens to me too, man. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, they tell me it's a globe. I'm like, oh, I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's what threw me up with the Terrence Howard interview. Uh, the Terrence Howard interview on Joe Rogan. He was making fun of flat earthers, and I was like, I'm not even going to listen to the rest of this. Yeah. <laughs> like everything you have to say to is mute to me now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's on Joe Rogan, so you know he's, you know. Well, yeah, the guy was a genius. Sold out anyway. He was like two, right? He invented like 90 patents and all this stuff. It's like I don't <laughs> want to hear that guy talk anymore. It's like so he went from being a cool actor to like shunned off of movies because of his of his pompous attitude like he knows like one plus one times one is 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 two yeah i get that point i understand that i, I understand that type of math i get it but <laughs> it's not you're not you're not revolutionizing anything nobody cares nobody cares anymore <laughs> like it doesn't matter you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna sell me on something because you're on the on tv your whole life yeah. and you're not really famous anymore so you're looking a way to get famous again I was like, dude, come on, bro. He's like, oh, I had a held a light to my son's stomach. And it's like, <laughs> or to my to my wife's son was being born. And then he started to like basically now he's a genius. You could ask him anything. And he has a square root of 85. Like off the top of his head, he's only three. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, bro. But this isn't this isn't uh this isn't a movie. All right. <laughs> this isn't a movie. All right. You didn't just become the John Travolta phenomenon when you were three years old. I'm sorry, dude. You're not, you know, this, <laughs> all um, right. Let's crush it back on the clone cloning. <laughs> so well, when I got off the when I got off the Donald Marshall uh, train, um, who really stuck out to me that was uh, coming out speaking about this stuff at the same time was rapper Bob and uh, Tila Tequila. Yeah. Tila Tequila is out there in videos claiming that she is a clone, and and she, the person that you saw on TV was her clone, not her. Um, so that's very interesting that you have these people that are famous that are saying these things. And, and we all know that B.O.B., well, he was one of my inspirating uh, people to look into Flat Earth to begin with, because I started hearing about Flat Earth. And I'm like, man, why am I going to give this any credence? Like, we have pictures of the Earth. This is stupid. <laughs> and then rapper B.O.B., like, I noticed that he he lost all traction and he didn't care. He stood his ground. And I'm like, all right, there's got to be something to this. So I started looking into it and into looking into that. I was like, oh, he's into cloning too. I need to look into oh, I'm going to give this a second go around. And then so I started looking into cloning more. And I would say up to date, and I'm probably going to miss out on a few of them, but we have Paul McCartney, Avril Lavigne, which I'll get into, Britney Spears, which I'll get into, Eminem. Jamie Foxx, Kanye West, Dave Chappelle, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, uh, Simon Cowell, and Tila Tequila. Mm. Um, All right. Is there, uh, 
Is there like a, something I could go to when you are talking about this, or maybe you want to share a screen to show like uh, side by sides of them, or I could try probably look it up on the internet if you want. Well, these are kind of notes that I've combined from different videos, web pages, and stuff. Uh, yeah. From my list. Eminem, I've heard a hot dude. I've because obviously we, you know me and you were both into hip hop. I've already heard of Eminem, Jamie Fox. I've heard of him too. Like he came out. Well, anyways, I'll let you talk about it. I'll let you do it. This is your. This is your. Uh, you get the floor. Go ahead. Well, what do you think about Jamie Foxx? We can we can jump around it. Like when matter. he, what they said that when he died, you know, he was like he was a little bit. He was, I guess, he was a little bit darker, or he, the or the newer version of him is darker. One of the two, I can't remember what it is. Right, the newer version of him is lighter. lighter yeah, and lighter, has, and has a different shaped head. His for his head is taller and skinnier. It's it's different. Yeah, and, and you know that he was sick there for a while, and his whole family was going to the hospital like it devastated and your whole family isn't going to stop what they're doing. If you're going to be okay, you know, a lot of people have stuff to do and Hey, is it going to be okay? Yeah. You're going to be, hey, he's going to die. You guys should probably get over here. Is yeah. Yeah. The way it seemed, you know, I heard Martin Lawrence too. I saw like some of the stuff on him a couple of days ago where his face like literally changes throughout the like time. You're like, dang dude, you look way different right now. And, and <clears throat> it's like, how do these guys stay so young though? Because you get guys like Tom Cruise, you get Beyonce, you get all these people that you really look at and you're like, how are you not aging? Like I age. I, I, the, the, who is the same age as you and they come out like, I don't know. Let's say The Rock. All right. right. The Rock's probably about what? Almost 50? It's like 45, something like that. Well, and he looks better now of- than he did when he was 20, 20 right. years old. You look at Tom Cruise side by side with the kid that was in um, Top Gun. Funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jerry Maguire. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you can look they up. Look, <laughs> they look the same Sorry. age, if not the Let's kid that's older than him. Same. If you look at the girl that was in the original Top Gun, that was his girlfriend in the original Top Gun, looks he like looks his like grandma hell. now. Yeah, he actually looks like hell, dude. <laughs> it's, it's even Meg cool. Ryan. Even Meg Ryan was in that in that movie. She just looks like an old lady, and he looks like he is. Younger than younger than my son. It's like eleven, dude. It looks crazy. Think, um, Meg, Meg Ryan. Remember Meg Ryan? She was in a. Uh, uh, she's also in a. Uh, Is that her name though? The blonde, the curly. Yes. Yeah, s- yeah. Sleepless okay. in Seattle, and and uh, she and she looked. Okay. She was young and beautiful in that movie. Now she looks like she's because she's a normal person that doesn't like a, take a adrenochrome. Maybe she looks like a thirty-eight-year-old lizard. I think because I think she got a whole <laughs> bunch of facelifts and stuff. So. Who knows what age that is? There's, I don't think that's even an age. It's like you're in between 58 and 60. You're like, it's a weird, <laughs> like 58 and 59. It's like, it's like, it's a weird age. There's no age like that. I've been watching some of these people. Like, look at Arnold, uh, what is it, Sylvester Stallone? That guy looks like. It's, so it's like, some of the people you mentioned right now, uh, let's see if I could do this real quick. Cause I was, I was trying to do it on my phone to see. Do you think they do this um, so that the, per, the actual, clone gets all of the gets all of the uh how do you say the shameful stuff that goes on to them and they get to live this live their lives regularly and they get- that is one reason why they do it sometimes uh because we know that they have to go through humiliation rituals at one point in their career um but i also think that some of them stand up against their agenda and they off them and they have to replace them yeah see that is not the same person so this is this is him before Look at the and nose. This the is nose him is before he went to the hospital. This is him after he came out of the hospital. So, you know, you kind of see. <laughs> does the shape of your skull change, though? Do, I'm, no matter how sick you get. Yeah, yeah I've, I've done many, many drugs, dude, in my life and got very skinny, but the shape of my head never changed. <laughs> not like that. Not drastically like that. His head is elongated now. Your face will, but not your head. <laughs> Bro, when I, when I, when I heard, uh, uh, the gentleman that was on with uh, with Dave, with Dave Chappelle, he was on that that movie. Uh, it's not called How High. It's something else. He's a he's a white dude, bro. He's a comedian. Oh, Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. He said, bro. He said that he he said that after he came back, bro, from Africa, dude, or whatever, you know. He said he totally stopped talking to him. They were best friends, bro. Best of friends. So and Dave then he Chappelle? and then when Dave not not when he came back from Africa, when he came back and he was super buff, yeah. he said he's never called him again. And they were close, bro, like best of friends. He said, even he said, bro, 
that he said he he can't say, but something's going on, man. He said that on one of the shows that he had just recently, and I was like, dang, bro. And I and I saved that because I wanted to uh, I wanted to save that for this show. Oh man, I had a mosquito on me. Yeah, he was just on Roseanne Bar recently, and if anybody listening to this can get through the cussing and stuff, that I, I highly recommend going and listening or watching that podcast. Um, but yeah, I don't think that that's the same person either. I, I definitely think that they replaced him. Now we we don't want to assume that everybody is a clone because we yeah. know that there are celebrity lookalikes, and I wanted to get into that with Avril Lavigne because she was discovered when she was seventeen years old. And the fame was a lot, a lot for her. And so she hired immediately this double named Melissa uh, Vandela, who wow. to be her stand in when she was feeling too overwhelmed with things, this Melissa Vandela girl would come in and stand in for her. Um, so that is, that's why I'm not really down with the Avril Lavigne is a clone thing. I think that she committed suicide from what I read. This is a long time ago that she ended I don't up. Know him. Isn't Jamie Foxx in a movie about cloning? Yeah, they cloned Tyrone. Yeah, there you go. That's How crazy, huh? right? How convenient. I just thought of that. And it's like that they throw it right in your face. That's, hey, that's crazy. Um, I wonder if I can see that. Like they were, they're very similar. Um, but this girl had different. Uh, just blemishes or whatever that. Oh, so, Paul McCartney. Yeah, look at the nose. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is. Sorry, it just this this website just pulled up of different people that I think you were talking about, bro. That's yeah. Paul McCartney right there. I mean, dude, that looks like a, look at his eyelash or eyebrows, bro. Well, look at like also P look Diddy. Look, P Diddy don't look the same either, dude. He looks way different, bro. Well, if you scroll back up to that, and it's kind of hard to tell in that picture, but the original, no, Paul McCartney, the original Paul McCartney had attached earlobes, and the next one has detached earlobes. Wow. Now, unless yeah. you went had a surgery to have your earlobes clipped, which I don't know why you would ever do that, right? Um. Yeah, that's almost a dead giveaway. And you go into some of the conspiracy that goes around Paul McCartney's death and everything. And there's there's like uh, parts in the songs where I guess if you turn it up, it's like we killed Paul or Paul is Paul dead. is dead. Yeah, it says Paul is dead. Yeah, you play yeah. it backwards. The song A Day in the Life. Excuse me. Wow. That's crazy, bro. Wow. Well, Did they could probably. Well, what they could probably do, too, bro. Think about this. They take the clone and uh, the person that's making the money. They 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 make him into a big star, kill him, clone him, and don't pay him the royalties, bro. And just yeah. have the clone perform and do all the stuff and yeah. pay him a little bit of money and keep all the royalties. Like if you clone Michael Jackson, you clone Eminem, you very, clone all very, those people. Bro. Very good point, dude. That's Think about very, that. Very like, well, Paul McCartney, hey, we'll let you sing, good. we'll let you get the fame and all that stuff, but you're gonna be, you know, under us and and you or know if you come out if you're about to come out about if you're about to try or if you're gonna rat him out, they probably kill you. You know, they, if you're gonna say yeah. anything, if like you're getting too man. close to the to the to the to the rat level, you're gone. Well, that's what I think happened with Eminem because in 2005 they uh it was reported on a news station that Eminem died in a fiery car accident. And an hour later, it was it, you never heard about anything ever again about Eminem dying. All of a sudden, Eminem goes to rehab. He comes back out, different bone structure, different eye color, different ears. Guy does not rap the same whatsoever, even to this day. And Eminem was not the type that was going to go along with their agenda. Eminem was one of those people that I do what I do and an F you if you don't want to go along with it. And I feel. They got rid of him. His name was so big at the time. He was idolized. People got tattoos of him. He, I mean, he was becoming the next Michael Jackson. Yeah. Every and, white boy had the haircut. Had them. Every white boy had that that mm -hmm. bleach hair. Right. And <laughs> if you have shirt, that many yeah. people following you, you have that much amount of influence over people. If you're not going to go along with the agenda that they want you to go along with, I don't see why they didn't just replace him. I, I, I have a, there's, there's this quote that's, Influence is more powerful than than power. Like it's more it is is very powerful. Influence is more powerful than having like a, like a like a lot of money or a lot of uh, or if you have like, if you're like the president of the United States, it doesn't matter. You could have so much influence as somebody. You could you could you could turn a whole nation against somebody. 
Yeah, let's, exactly. Let's, and I think at one point in time, Eminem did have that power. He he spoke for all the white kids that got picked on and and mm-hmm. loved hip hop and weren't able to be a part of the scene. He gave us all hope. And I yeah, I, I have, I'm actually doing a whole s- series just on Eminem, but I don't want to spend too much time on him. I want to jump around a little bit. But like I said, I bring up the Avril, Avril Lavigne thing because I totally feel that some of these people are just re, uh, replaced by lookalikes. You don't necessarily have to have a clone of the person. All right, I'm going to stop sharing so you could talk. Sorry, bro. <laughs> no, you're totally good. I'm basically just trying to pull up stuff as you as you talk, you know, so we'll stop yeah, no, sharing of the people you're a, talking about. <laughs> And they just showed a uh, Tom McDonald in a song cloned rappers. And I thought that was a great song. I was totally on board with Tom McDonald after he made that song. And then a couple years later, they were interviewing him about it. And he was like, Oh man, I don't really think that Eminem is dead and cloned. And ble-. I'm like, wow, you're backtracking on everything you said. Cause he got a little bit of fame. So now he's toting along. He, he has to bro. Push the envelope just, just enough. Because no. he's, he's still doing what Joe Biden and Donald Trump are doing successfully. And that's dividing the country. And by Tom McDonald being the opposite narrative than what the mainstream narrative is, he's still helping successfully divide the country because the people that provide the problem also provide the solution. The people that provide the side that you think is the bad side are also providing the so-called good side, but it's all a psyop within a psyop. Yeah, that's totally 100%, bro. I agree. I agree, man. Yeah, they, they let you become famous. You don't just become famous, bro. No matter what anybody says, they let you become famous. And and you gotta you gotta do something, you know, as you as you uh, progress as an artist, as an as an actor, whatever it is, you're gonna be doing favors, pushing agendas, going to parties that are that are just disgusting, you know, and they gotta make sure they get you doing something that's disgusting as well. Film it, then they got you under their wing, bro. Whether it's you know gay stuff like gay stuff or you know homo, whether it's you know whatever little boys, whatever they do with politicians, you know we know what's up, bro. They do it with politicians, they do it with everybody, man. But like Tom McDonald, yeah, dude, as a as a as a rapper, <laughs> Jason just laughed. As gay wise, gay stuff, you know. Well, and we're on YouTube. Who knows, man? Yeah. Just say, just say. It's because when I talk about when I talk to my kids, that's how I talk to them, bro. Sorry, because I talk yeah. to my wife and I say gay. Right. They don't know what it means. <laughs> Like, Sorry. Hey, why? Anyways, uh, any anything, bro. That's him. Humi- you know, we know humiliation rituals and just everything, bro. Yeah, you're on point, Catalyst. Let's keep going, brother. Love it. All right, cool. So let's jump over to Britney Spears because this is one of my favorite ones to get into, also. Because Britney Spears, if you look at her Instagram now, this is one that's playing out in real time. Yeah. Um, a few years back, there was there was this thing going around where people thought that Britney Spears was dead, kidnapped, or something like that. And then her husband posted them on a hike and was like, see, we just went on a hike, blah, blah, blah. blah. And, and the true fans were like, hey, you posted this a year ago. Like, this is, this is the same exact pictures from a year ago. Where is Britney Spears? Mm-hmm. And nowadays with deep fakes we don't even really need to have a, a legitimate clone because how, how often do you see britney spears in public anymore all it is is her instagram page where she's dancing around and looking twacked bro and, and it, her dad <laughs> sold, her, yeah. sold her out for that stuff and their dad's horrible person and and i think he's he's there well she's probably one of those people that gets like like that marshall guy gets sold at a young age and the parent makes money off of you and and it's it's it was a horrible scene to watch that's like your old father like pimping you out like a like a like you're just this prostitute for money like the jackson's parents uh destiny destiny's destiny's child destiny child the same thing that you know their parents of that their mom see it's like it's like that uh it's like the 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 pageantry stuff all over again yeah yeah, that, bro. What was that? That Bobby Ramsey, the Ramsey story? John Benet, John Benet Ramsey. John Benet Ramsey. You know that we went to school with with her with their cousin. No, I yeah, know that. We bro. went to school with their cousin, and and she used to tell me that her dad, their parents were cuckoo as heck, dude. They would they would force her to do things that she didn't want to do. And it's like you, you're it's 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 kind of those things like that. You're 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 exploiting a child so much and making it think that trophies and and money. You're living vicariously through them. That's the yeah, thing, bro. Uh, Horribly vicariously yeah. through them, and who knows what yeah, they do. Yeah, but what you're you. what you're doing them is you're basically making them a slave, not only to the entertainment industry, but there there's. Doesn't Britney Spears have a song called "Slave"? 
Yeah, yeah she does. I'm a slave for you, but she I'm also a has a very yes. interesting song that has an animated video to it, and where she breaks into the cloning center and destroys all of the clones of herself. And the the video ends with her blowing up the entire cloning center. It's an animated <laughs> It's an animated video, but it's a, it's a legit Britney Spears video. And in one of the songs, it might be the same song. She says, I want you to know she's been cloned. She's a clone. She's a clone. Mm. And <clears throat> what, what Interesting, would, bro. <laughs> what would make you freak out? Like people think that, oh, they, they just couldn't handle the fame and they, they turn to drugs and, you know, Britney shaves her head and beats the car up with a bat or some, something like that. But like, if you are sick of being used, not only for entertainment purposes, but sexually entertainment entertainment pers- purposes for these elite people, then, you know, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to shave my head and make myself ugly so they won't want me anymore. Yeah. Of, I feel like these people reach their breaking point because they're sick of the torture that they have to go through. This, these, it's, uh, it's kind of sad because your your dreams of growing up looking up to these stars uh you know like i wish i could be like them and you don't realize the pain that they have to go through behind the scenes and how much they are used and everything uh, another thing with britney spears that i wanted to say is um oh not britney spears i'm sorry it's totally different miley cyrus donald yeah. marshall said that miley cyrus stabbed him in the stomach because he refused to uh he refused to give her one of his songs which wow. some of the things he says is pretty outlandish, but I mean, is it? I don't know. Um, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about Britney Spears? Because we saw, I, 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 I think, bro, say- I think, throughout, can you imagine, bro, the amount of pressure that's on you as an artist having to perform night after night after night, bro? Can you imagine the pressure, bro, going bro, into where, a where stadium? Start? But where'd she start at? At, at Disney, bro. Mickey Mouse Club with, with Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, All of them, the bro. dudes from In Sync. Yeah, yeah, uh, dude, dude. You're talking. She was Where's on kids. She was on kids. On wasn't she on? She was on Kids Incorporated, wasn't she? No, Jennifer Love. Jennifer Love Hugh was on Kids Incorporated, and the first she was on the Mickey Mouse Kids Club. Mickey yeah, Mouse Club, then? Okay. Fritz Incorporated no, with someone else, but... Yeah, dude, Fergie, Excuse uh, me. Mario Lopez, and Jennifer Love Hewitt were on, on Kids Incorporated. Wow, bro. And other stars, and you just don't even... You don't really see no more. I'm watching some stuff on the Sandlot Kids. Those, you watch it, like you watch stuff on kids being on, on, on this stuff, and you're like, man, what did that kid have to go through to be on this show, man? Like, like now I look at it that way. Like, this young star got stardom and and who knows how many times he's got tagged you know how many times something happened to him like like i don't know if you heard that story about the little girl that was on poltergeist oh that was a horrible situation too they, they like i forgot her name but remember she was on Poltergeist. that little, that nope, little the blonde girl. little blonde chick yeah she died yeah, on the set she died on the set but it was it was more of lines of she was being molested in the in the in the Green room. One, yeah one of the rooms and they punctured her her stomach. Oh my gosh! Bro. And they just let her die in there because they didn't. Is want that a Steven Spielberg through. film, bro? Yep. Oh my gosh! All yeah. right, well, yeah. You know, you know about all the rumors about him, bro. Yeah, and you see these people, and who knows? Maybe he's maybe his clones. Maybe he's doing that, and his clone gets to get away free from or whatever. You know, like okay, well, I'm gonna go to try anything that goes on. Like okay, if I go to trial, I'll send my clone. And Jeffrey Epstein out. put yeah. Jeffrey Epstein in jail. His clone kill him. Himself. Yeah. Put them wherever they want to put them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Maybe outside of the life. outside yeah. of the uh, Antarctica, wherever the heck they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Put them on his own island for the rest of his life. That's probably what he does. Go to cool Rothschild's Island in Antarctica, whatever. I don't know where they're at, but <laughs> well, if like, you want to get into Jeffrey Epstein too, if you look at his uh, autopsy pictures and the pictures of him dead, it's a different, totally different person. Oh, yeah, it, it is not the same Jeffrey Epstein that we see in the pictures with Donald Trump and and. Oh, I don't know why I had to throw his name out there, but <laughs> yeah. well, you got it, bro. Okay, so Britney Spears, you're asking me about that, yeah. I think you you can see, uh, like Jason said, her 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 own dad was you know greedy for the money. These these people that are involved in the record companies, they're they're no joke, bro. Like when I I met I met the general manager of Death Row Records. Jay, remember we were at the Staples Center. I rapped for Suge Knight, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Came yeah. down. So I rapped for Suge Knight, bro, off the Staples Center Freestyle. People heard this story before. But, bro, nice. so 
this is an example though, this of, of what you have to do to become an artist though, because the general manager meets me at, um, I was at, at Dave and Buster's and we're eating. He's like, Hey man, uh, you know, I want to hear you rap and all this stuff. And he gets a phone call. There's like a party in Malibu. So I take my Ford Ranger truck. He says, Hey, I can't drive because I drink already and I have to blow into the tube. He's got a BMW. So I drive him up to Malibu, my Ford Ranger truck. We go all the way up there. We're partying all night, uh, hanging out. He let me wear the death row chain, bro. I see like Ray J and, um, and, um, they're all smoking weed and all this stuff. He's like, hey, 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 get him away from me. He doesn't want me to see him. I'm like, I don't care if you smoke weed. And, um, bro, I was just hanging out with him. And then I go back to his apartment, bro. And it's like a nice apartment in LA, you know. And, and I'm like, and he's like, let me hear you rap. Boom, puts on like uh Tupac beat. I'm like freestyling, like killing it, bro. He's like, bro, you can really do this. I started hanging out with him. Uh, it starts getting late. I'm like sitting up on the, I'm like chilling on the, the cabinet thing. And, and, and this dude bro comes up to me and goes, I know you have a woman. I have a woman, but I like to get down, you know, man to man, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, uh, so I kind of ducked out, got away. I was like, Hey bro, I don't do that. And this is a, this is a pretty stout, pretty big, uh, black dude, you know, and that's the most gangster label that I've ever known about, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look, you seven dudes that come in there and just run he, the train on you, bro. That's, but that, that's that the happen. for me. I believe that was the test, bro, to see if I would do it. And then I'd probably get accepted or maybe the devil was tempting me and, and wanted me to go against my morals and to see how far I would go to make it. You see what I mean? Yeah, both, both. But I got out of there, bro. And I was like, okay, I'm out. But he continued to contact me. But he t but he called me. He said, Monday, I like you, bro. I don't know if you meant you like me like that or you like me like. And he said, listen, Death Row is the wrong label for you. They were going to treat you so bad, horribly. They're, they're going through tax fraud and they're about to close up shop. So don't sign with them. He told me, don't sign with Suge, bro. I said, okay, cool. But he was cool with me. And he said, you can contact me anytime if you have any questions about any labels or anything like that. And we just ended it at that. But I got tested, bro, by the devil big time to see how far I would go for fame. And at least, you know, God saved me that night, bro. But man, it was crazy. But dude, this is this goes along with the stuff you have to do to make it in the industry, bro. You got to do that stuff or else, you know, and they probably film it to have stuff on you so they could just oh, yeah. blackmail you. Well, yeah. You didn't drink anything at their party, bro. Did you drink anything at their no, party? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tired. You wake up, dude, uh, like, what happens? Guys, like, <laughs> you're like, oh no, oh no, <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. It's okay, There's bro. There's another condition <laughs> that you have to uh, that you have to abide by in order to be, to get the fame as well. And uh, Bob says it in one of his songs, and he says, "You get the fame under one condition: you get copied at the cloning center." <laughs> and it, it's it's wow. a great. Song. Yeah, yeah. I won't get into that, but I will say that rapper B.O.B. did talk to Donald Marshall while he was talking to Donald Marshall. There was helicopters flying above his house. All He was like scared. Wow. And he's like, he said the last thing he asked Marshall was, um, have you seen a clone of me at the cloning center? And he said that he did. Wow. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I've heard about B.O.B. too, being cloned and all that stuff, too. And, and, his, and his songs. Yeah, he, he's, he's a dope artist, bro. Uh, and I think that I definitely B. think that's still really him. Um, but he, he you won't hear about him now because he, a year ago yeah, clone, or a clone somebody or something like that. Um, can you bring up uh, a side by side of Simon Cowell? Be uh, you know, the American Idol guy, yeah, oh, yeah, no Simon, problem. Uh, Simon Cowell, yeah, yeah be, a before and after, okay, Simon, oops, Cow. That I think crazy. that's how you spell it. It is. What Boom. the heck? Yeah, that looks like plastic surgery gone wrong. Bro, that was him before or was that him after, bro? No, that was him after, bro. That was him before? No, that's, that's, him, that's him after. Yeah, right uh, there. So before it was on the right, after is on the left. What? Dude, that's what he looks like right now, bro? Yes. Dude, that is definitely not him, bro. I had no idea about that. Because I already died. I already had like a heart attack or something. And then I uh, heard I heard a similar story. I haven't looked too much into him because yeah. he was never somebody I, I really cared about too much to even care to look into. But it's still it's still funny, man. It's not just a it's not just musicians, it's any type of a celebrity. Like like you were saying, anybody that has influence is mm -hmm. 
And so they, they need that influence. And that guy doesn't even look real. That could be one of those organic robotoids that Dr. Peter Better was talking about. So that was him before. That's Got not him it. right now, right? No, that 2013. Was that was 2013. 2013, yeah. What the heck, bro? Jeez, wow, bro. That is like Captain Obvious, bro. Uh, I did not even know that. I don't really pay attention to these celebrities as well. <laughs> these guys are... Well, Joe Biden has that thing, too, where his ears are Oh, my different gosh, bro. His, his skin is different. His forehead is different. His eye, that's, oh, yeah. That right there, like he had really bad plastic surgery gone wrong. Like the clone, like hit the other clone, like he got hooked on fentanyl or something. It's dying slowly, <laughs> dude. That's, I don't mean that. That does look like that, bro. Dude, it looks, he looks bad. I mean, like I said, he looks like that age where you're not 30 oh, or you're not 60. You're not 61. <laughs> you're that weird age. And like, you're trying to be something. You're now, you got like 75 face Botox and all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, man. Dude, look, it looks like he, he looks like he's dying. Uh, well, a good, a good example of that, and I don't believe she's a clone, is uh, Madonna. If you look at her before oh, and now, she, she has just done so much plastic surgery to herself that she looks disgusting. There's this video of, of like them without makeup, like her, uh, uh, J-Lo, um, a whole bunch of like like really pretty girls. <laughs> you see them without makeup. It's uh, Pamela Anderson. It's like looking at... Just like, a regular woman, bro. Like that's what it is. I just picture out of the prom queen got hooked on meth in high school, <laughs> and you see her, how pretty she is before. You see her out there, like, is that a mugshot of her? <laughs> and it looks, it, it's bad. It's like, man, these people, uh, maybe they are cloned, and and they're the clones are just younger, and they stay keeping them at that young age, and when they get to that point, to her point, they die. But the real people probably look like Clint Eastwood that they look like. Well, Simon Cowell had a lot of pull, bro. Like you said, a lot of influence, you know. So that's that's a different. And yeah, and and, and uh, American Idol was a super, super. It's still a super huge show, Is right? And they, it? yeah, he was making all the corporations a lot of money because he not only did that, but he, I think he did Britain's Got Talent, um, all kinds. Yeah, of America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, X Factor, uh, X Factor, yeah, all that stuff, bro. All those shows, yeah, that people that it's like was the new craze. It was like almost reality TV, but yeah. Um, so another reason they would clone somebody, and here's here's where it gets into like QE conspiracy type stuff, is what if they're executing people like Hillary Clinton, but they still need them out in the public? Um so we all know that Hillary Clinton used to have a stand-in because there's pictures of them side by side together, standing together with their arms around each other. However, uh, the stand-in was a lot taller than Hillary Clinton. I, I would say she had like four or five inches on her. And um, there is a conspiracy going around that Hillary Clinton has been hung at Guantanamo Bay and they just have this one out now because they still have a purpose for her and they can't let the people know that uh, what's been going on behind the scenes? Well, the government's so horrible, and they know that it's so bad. They just got to off all the, like they said, they got to what is that? Clean the swamp out, and they probably. Uh -huh. they, I believe that too. I believe that they did stuff like that. I, I would, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that at all either. Just to keep uh, us stupid and 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 think that we're dumb, and then they just you know actually did get rid of these people. Like maybe they did. Who knows? Maybe they did kill Biden because he don't look the same either. He does not. He got I'm, rid of I'm not, Biden. Yeah, got rid of like, since we're talking about him, let's let's bring him up. So, guys, if you if you guys see me switching to screen share a lot, it's just because I'm I'm just trying to give you guys visuals of what we're talking about, so that if you're you know, on YouTube, but if you're on the anything else, yeah, if you're on Spotify, you'll see this. But if you're on anything else, you can check out our YouTube at Josh Monday Music and Podcast. Um, let's say Joe Biden. Keep keep talking about Joe Biden, guys, and I'll bring this yeah. up. Okay? Well, his ears are different. I'm gonna be a producer today. Let's not uh, totally discredit the fact <laughs> that we've seen Joe Biden wearing masks too. So I think they got like three or four different Joe Bidens that we see. Um, and there's clearly one video of him talking and you can see on his neckline where, where the mask isn't meeting underneath his collar, where it should have been. And you can just see it popping up at, and mm, it's gross. This is not a So maybe they don't always, and maybe that's why Joe Biden's so stupid too, because in that movie Multiplicity that you brought up, you know, after like the fifth one, it was like 
She touched my peppy, Steve. I yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's all shaving his tongue with no razor. It's hilarious. That's a funny movie. But look, so this he was pretty Joe handsome. Biden then. Not gonna lie, Joe, Joe Biden, Biden used to be a pretty handsome dude back in the day, bro. Now look at him. That that is a totally different person. The eyes are different. Look at the eye color. Yeah, it's like they're dead. His his eyes in his right are dead, and the ones in the left that look like they're alive. It's like well. a deep, bro. He looks like a demon, bro. To be honest, because <laughs> he has been in politics forever well, since like he was in the 60s yeah <laughs> and he's what he should be 900 years old by now there's no way he's <laughs> this long, dude. 900 he was like, okay that picture on the right or the 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 that looks right. different that looks pretty different right there too bro look at that that even looks like two different people even though it's supposed to be he yeah. said uh, <laughs> there are 10 joe biden's this is what this magazine yeah says. look at that dude look at that the one on the right looks like he's just falling apart. Like, he's like, uh, uh, man, I feel bad for this guy, bro. Oh, why? He's not even a human like this being right anymore, here? dude. He's a lizard. Look at he's, this. He's a freaking lizard person. That looks like, looks like a mask. Yeah, guys. So we're just pointing out things we're seeing Look here, man. Look at that this picture right there. Look at that young picture right there. Where is it at? You could take a. You could look at me. Take a picture of me right here from twenty years ago. That's about. That's about twenty five years ago, right there. And you can take a picture of me for 25 years ago. I look almost exactly the same, except for the gray hairs coming out in my wow. mustache. Look at this. Look at these two, bro. That looks... 1987, hard. 2007, 2010. And you could see even now, dude, he looks way different, bro. The one on the left, that's Joe Biden on the left. In 2007, that's Joe Biden. The one on the right... That, like I said, that's that that's the devil right there. Probably he he's he he is weird huh. looking, dude. I, I agree with whatever that magazine said. I think there's at least eight Joe Bidens. We see a different one all the time. We got the angry one. We got the one that shits himself. We got the one that makes him fall over trying to go upstairs. <laughs> but each one of them looks completely different. Oh, I love it when they circle things so that you can point it out, like that one right there with the red circles on it. Mm -hmm. Scroll up a little bit more. Okay, hold on. Where is it at? Red oh. circles. Did we? Did I pass it to us? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's, it's down more. It's the down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, right, right, there. There. Yeah, right there. there. Perfect. There we go. Look at the nose. Wow! Oh, look at that, bro. Nose it's straight. Sure. Oh my goodness, bro. His ears are higher. How long is his, 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 his lip right here? Uh, his ear uh, yeah. is it was hanging there. His, in his nose, his, his mouth is falling off on the right. This is 2020. This is 2012. He looks like definitely looks different, right. bro. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is for sure a different person. Now the guy's got beady eyes. That it's just. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, guys. Uh, oh, that's horrible. That's you crazy. Tell. Yep. So All that's right. it from my notes. If you guys had any questions for me about it or uh, places I can I can direct you to look at it, but I'm surprised that you were pulling up all that stuff just off of Google because me too, I, bro. I, I'm surprised it I, just came right up. <laughs> and I was trying to find the Donald Marshall interviews because uh, I wanted to take some notes off of his interviews, um, so I'd have a little bit more on him. I couldn't find his interviews on YouTube anymore, and and I couldn't find a. Uh, when rapper B.O.B. was talking about him. Um, I don't know if you can still find Tila Tequila admitting that the person that we were seeing on TV. Was I heard that too. I heard that same, I heard that same comment you're talking about. I heard yeah. about that. Yeah, she had a video that she was basically speaking yeah. about that. I remember that. Yes. And now you don't even see her no more. No, no I Well, because no. she's not useful to them anymore. Either way, you know, her music it's, never really took off. The biggest thing she had going for her was the... Uh, the shot of tequila on MTV, the dating show that she was doing. What about Cat Williams, bro? Do you think that he got cloned and he came back and, or do you think he's the same person? You know, they always just, whenever they, they just try to say, Oh, he's on drugs doing all this stuff. They try to like kill his whole character. And then they brought him back. Now, now he's doing Netflix, just like, uh, just like um, Dave, Chappelle. Uh, Dave Chappelle, bro. Now he's Netflix big doing, making a bunch of money. And yeah, I wonder if Cat Williams, bro, not sure. You know, like but you said, you was, don't have to pay him. That he, is a brilliant scheme right there, dude. 
That's like the I never even thought of it that way. Like, hey, let's kill him, clone him, have him clone, kill him. We'll have to pay this guy. We'll pay this guy. Well, he just, just get you know. The clones probably just it got just got the consciousness, right? Just saying it just has basically the, the person's consciousness. So it, the person is conscious and 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 still thinking that he's the same person, but you you have now just just da damn he's just damn he's like what is what is that PTSD so bad? That's why they made it like this. They freeze for a little bit for like ten minutes because they're they're <laughs> mind, yeah they're going to that place where they they it's like you look but at sometimes you see newscasters. Sometimes yeah, you see newscasters and they're they're literally like, so yeah, and then we have to go to uh, and they just stare into we don't even know, bro, the abyss. And, and that's, then that's it looks like a traumatized person thinking about you just got a rape last night or something like that. It's like our, he's going, he's going to that bro. place in his mind and he's just sitting there like, I've done that, and people are like, hey, what do you oh what? What? No, I'm not saying I've done it like I go place <laughs> right now. But I'm thinking I've I've daydreamed so bad where you're like you're you're someone's talking and you're like Dude, did I take out the trash yesterday? Right, but when you're, that? when you're on television, live television and stuff, I don't, bro. I don't think you should be doing that. And <laughs> no, they bro. That, they say that clones will malfunction, too, and we've seen that with Hillary Clinton where she's like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. talk about health care. <laughs> And then yeah. was at, <laughs> M &M was at a Eminem was at a Michigan State game. Yeah, and, I remember that. Yeah, and he just totally went out. He was like... Okay, guys. And then Conor McGregor, too, bro. If you look at Conor McGregor, he was with Dana White. And the same thing, bro. He, he like he was sitting there, like, and they were interviewing him, and he did the same thing, bro. And he has a lot of influence, bro. He was sitting there, and Dana White had to tap his back, like, and he was like, okay, he came back. Same thing, bro. Not saying he's been cloned. I'm not saying, that, but it was kind of interesting. And if you, if you see his new interviews, dude, I could show you guys, bro. Conor McGregor, bro. I, dude, he, he I mean, hold too. on real quick. Hold on. He don't look, look the same as he did before either, too. Hold on. We'll share this real quick, bro. This, this might, I don't know, man. Watch this. Uh, Conor, oops. Conor McGregor Coke. <laughs> While you're pulling this up, people listening and watching, go check out the um, Cat Williams Shay Shay interview if you haven't already. And I don't think that somebody that's a clone would be. Uh, Sorry. Can you guys hear that? That much. No. Hold on. Okay. Ah, that's not what I want. Dang, I want to out the actual. Let me go to YouTube. Bro, uh, dude, he. Okay, keep talking, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh -huh. I, I made my point out. I was just saying that I don't think that somebody's uh, that would be cloned and being out there for their purpose would be exposing their secrets. And he exposed a lot in that Shay Shay interview. He threw everybody under the bus. He was talking about Epstein Island. He was talking about everybody and, and the dirt that goes on in the Hollywood game. Let's see. Hopefully it just will just play. And I don't know. If I could now, he could just be on drugs here. Okay, guys, I don't, I don't want to be mean, but um, I forgot how to share the sound. Uh, how do I share the sound? I think I have to go to options or something. Anyways, if the sound doesn't play, you can. You guys can't hear the sound, huh? No, but that does look skipping. like somebody that's on drugs. Yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, oh, he's like skipping. <laughs> Bro, he was. It's hard to. I thought it was looping, but I look over to the left at the other actor. Yeah, he's, yeah, it doesn't yeah. Really I wish you guys could hear that. The other actor's looking at like Jake Gyllenhaal's like, "What the heck are you doing?" Yeah, so he might just be on drugs there, but bro, he was such a bright speaker, bro, on the spot, great live. He could do, dude. He could just talk, you know, mess and do do so much, bro, but. I saw the interview with him where he was frozen like that. And then after that, he just ended up not fighting anymore. He, he went away, came back, and he looks like he might have been doing, you know, some some drugs there. I'm not sure, man, but it's crazy, bro. Who knows? He could have been cloned he's, too. He's on steroids like big time, bro. Dude, well, I think he was doing a little bit of yay right there, but that anyways. Ribbed, dude. That doesn't matter, bro. I, I wouldn't doubt it because he's he was uh just coming out. I mean, that was a Hollywood thing. Now he's in movies and all that stuff. And so he's he's hanging out with that crowd instead of physically training and wanting yeah. your body to be at its perfect peak condition. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I wouldn't me. doubt it. Dude, wouldn't... bro, this was an awesome show, bro. I loved it, man. You had, you had notes. Uh, you, you took us to that Donald Marshall, which is like like peeling the onion back and showing us you know, like like that gentleman, and and then you then you kind of went to different stars. We could show you guys physically what what you know the difference is. I thought this was an awesome show, man. I really appreciate it, bro. Any questions that they? Yeah, any questions, Jay, that you would have for him on this? Uh no, no, no. I, I I'm uh, I'm gonna go down that rabbit hole myself now. For it's sure. a fun one. It's a fun one to get lost into if you. If you find yourself wanting to research something and just look into something and stay tuned because we're doing a really big Eminem thing. I'm doing it with uh, the cult of conspiracy and, oh, and those guys. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be awesome. I'm gonna I got to, to hop on the show. Again too. I'm going to try to find that letter again. Cause that letter was creepy. It was weird. I read it. It was like five pages of just, please help me. They make me do this and make me do that. I cannot leave. I cannot go anywhere. I get, I got to perform for these people and these people are just sick, disgusting just it's it's constant rape and 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 if i don't do good or if i do something bad i get i get this i get that it's like well, bro, it's the care. same as johnny gosh bro where's johnny if you look at that documentary That's he goes back and from. he goes back and visits his mom and says that he can't leave and he can't you know he came back at like two in the morning knocked on the door said hey i'm alive i'm okay but i can't leave and i can't do anything and he had like a handler with him had to leave take off and you know man it, it was crazy bro that whole story dude Bro, we did an episode on that, bro, and and I was just like, oh my gosh, bro! You find out like, whole cities oh are connected on it. Yeah, like, bro, the, the Washington the scandal, uh, yeah. dude. Find out all that stuff, bro, and then you find out the uh, military uh, is doing it. Oh man, dude! That Michael, was... the little Michael Aquino or something like that. What is it? Mike, Michael Aquino, yeah. Aquino, yeah. It's the sick. Dude. Anyways, yeah, we don't want to get off subject, but bro, thank you so much, bro, Catalyst. I appreciate you coming on and um. As you could shout out your show, any anything you have coming up or anything that you got, you know, for, for the uh, audience to be able to get a hold of you. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, go ahead. And you can find me at all the usual suspects. I was kicked off of YouTube about two years ago, so I'm not on YouTube, but I'm on Rockfin. Um, occasionally I'll post on Rumble, but mainly my show, uh, people go to audio. I'm on Patreon, a White Rabbit podcast, Patreon. Uh, for my merch, it's whiterabbitpodcast.com. And uh, I just joined with uh, Almighty Media and uh, I'm doing another show with a guy called The Art of Revolution and that's going to be dropping soon. We almost have five episodes recorded. We're waiting to get five to start dropping the show. That will be on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys, yeah, the letter that you were talking about, I believe it is on Donald DonaldMarshallRevolution.com. So it, yeah, if you guys want to get your toes wet into that, start going through that website and it, it'll blow your mind. Now, a lot of it is going to sound really off-putting, and and this can't be true, but, I mean, how did Flat Earth sound to you when you first heard about that? Yeah. And, dude. If, Nothing's S off-putting to me anymore, dude. Yeah. Look, if you think it's off-putting, look into SRA, satanic ritual abuse, and all that type of stuff, bro, and you'll be like, okay, this is this is just what happens in these yeah. in this industry. I had to stop some, I just stopped doing some of that. I had to take a break from that stuff well, for a little while. That, those shows were getting... Yeah, we had some pretty like, crazy shows. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. Is this right? I don't even think we should be talking about this stuff, dude. <laughs> yeah. hey, I started taking down pictures gonna... of my kids and everything, bro. I was like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, no, nah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell to the no, no, no. I took all the pictures of my kids down on my Instagram, all that, bro. I'm like, hell no, nah, bro. Yeah, yeah, we saw that, you know. I don't really post anything with my daughter in it, you know, unless it's a special day or something. Like once a year, I will post something with my daughter in it just because she's the prime suspect to get uh taken and yeah i would hate for anything to happen to her i i would i wouldn't know what to do with myself but like you were saying bro it is hard to go through some of these things it, it gets really dark but our job as christian warriors is to expose this stuff so yes ephesians 5 11 baby expose the evil yes sir all right well thank you so much catalyst i appreciate it bro and thank you for having me on your show the the, the few times that i went on i went on his show twice if you guys want to check those out Biblical Cosmology, and we went over to College Secret Societies. You can check out the White Rabbit Podcast. I'm actually on there. Um, Jason, any last words for our audience before we go? Uh, get ready, man. Fourth of July is coming up, so let's uh, let's celebrate this nation's birth. So just watch out. You never know what could happen. Someone might be around the corner, so just be 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 ready. Don't be, be vigilant. Yeah. yeah, don't don't be too involved in in these celebrations, man. Just start to start to. 
understand that something's coming right now and it's not going to be fun. I don't, I, that's why I have to believe whatever else wants to say. I'm not trying to be doom and gloom, but it's talks about it everywhere in the scriptures. It talks about it and it's looking, looking pretty, pretty grim right now for our country. So hope we can, maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I am wrong, but right now it doesn't look that way. I don't think you are wrong, bro. The entire world is uprising against this big cabal right now. And, and, we we are running towards that finish line and it's looking like both of us might get there at the same time and it's just going to be who takes that first step and yep. i don't know it's it's yep. going to get crazy it's going to get hectic you guys especially in september i think as the election comes closer and closer so yes uh, stay vigilant keep a uh, keep god on you at all times you wear that wear that armor yes yes Wear the armor. He's he's definitely correct. And um, yeah, guys, uh, it it looks crazy for sure because it looks like they're um, they actually want Trump to come back. I said it a long time ago. Like they 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 want Trump to come back, which people might say you're crazy. No way. They're they're indicting him. But dude, it they, it, they could, it, they it could looks like him, it. They could what? let him win and Bro. got rid of him after four years and not to deal with him anymore. Why is he coming back at the exact same time? I, I well, mean, it's kind of like it's 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 uh the, the Hegelian dialectic. What they do is they create a problem, they have a solution. They created the problem with Biden, and then they say, "Here, we're going to serve you the solution." And then people are like, "Ah!" So it's a, like uh, well, like Catalyst. Go, Catalyst was talking about. I think Catalyst. Go, was, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think uh, before we go? What do you think is going to happen in this in this election? Well, I think uh, I think that they want Trump in. My wife bet me like a hundred bucks on this. I told him I, a long time ago. I said, "Watch, they want Trump back in, and that's why they're pushing him to come back in." You can tell they want him back in by the questions they were asking Joe Biden before in the other uh, uh, debate. Do they are asking Joe Biden like, "What's your hair color?" He's like, "It's gray." They're like, "Yeah, hey, good job, Joe." This time they're like, "Joe." What's up with this? How come you want abortions all the way to nine months? How come you want? They were asking him questions, bro. That were like, like, okay, they're hitting in this fool like right away, and he's he like, that's oh, why he was, oh, yeah, oh, he's just like looking at like there, what, uh, there, you see this. what I mean. We so, so it looks I think like it's because he's not cognitive enough to be to play the role of president anymore, no matter how many stand-ins they have, and they did that so that they can out him and they can replace him with Newsom or Michelle Obama. Big Mike. Yeah. And- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just think that it's it's all it's all staged, bro. Anyways, and they already know what's up, bro. So all that's going to happen is they'll probably put him back in. He'll probably build the third temple in Israel. That's going to look like the end times are coming and they're just going to, they're going to push everything to Israel. The wars will happen and it's going to look like prophecies unfolding before our eyes. If it's going to be the seven year tribulation and, and dispensationalism, it's going to look like that for sure. So if it's going to be that it's looking like it's going to happen right now, but it also could be what Dave Gardner was talking about, bro, where they're setting it up to make it look like the end times. And they have you focus on Israel when they're get, when it's something totally different. So we have to watch out, bro. Be vigilant. Just like Catalyst said, read your Bible. Get close to God. Spread the gospel message. Look, do we need to read the Bible thoroughly and know your scriptures so you can fight against the devil? Uh, everyday life is going to happen as well. You know, you gotta you gotta put on that full armor of God, like Catalyst was talking about, and be ready for the for the wows of the devil because he's going to constantly be, you know, you're going to get tempted. And but you got to fight that journey. It's got to be a, a marathon and not a sprint. So you know, you got to make sure that you're you're in it like that. But what's going to happen? I don't know, man. But it looks like. It, it does look like Revelation and the Book of Daniel is unfolding before our eyes, and and if the dispensational list uh, uh, is is true, then then it looks like it's happening, bro. Gog and Magog, all this different stuff looks like it's happening right before our eyes. So it could either be set up that way, like uh, like like Dave Gardner was telling us about, you know, Albert Pike's book World War Three, or it could be that the dispens that God's prophecy is unfolding before our eyes, and that it is true, the seven year tribulation and all that. So it's crazy, man. Be ready. So, but uh, like we always do, we end this in prayer. So let's let's pray for Catalyst and let's pray for whoever we can pray for right now. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this glorious time. I want to pray for Catalyst. I want to pray that um, you know to protect him, protect his family. He's uh, he is recording uh, you know five shows like on this new conspiracy podcast. We get deep into conspiracies. He does exposing evil. Uh, we expose, you know, the devil, we expose, you know, the demons, we expose the fallen angels for what they're doing. So I just want to ask that you protect him. 
Uh, any strongholds that are trying to attack him, when the devil's trying to attack Catalyst, I want you to please break those chains. Do not allow the devil to 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 do anything to him because I know that people like him or people like myself or people like Jason, we get attacked because we are trying to expose the evil, you know? So just, Lord, I just want to say, help him put his armor of God every morning when he wakes up. Have him put that armor of God on so he could, he could dodge the walls of the devil. Protect his daughter, protect his family, his parents, uh, put a legion of angels around them, and um, you know keep him on track, because I know that he could do wonderful things in, in the podcast industry, and he could do wonderful things for you, Lord, so keep him on track. And uh, Angel, uh, the, the gentleman I just met last night, uh, I was on his show last night from Paranoid uh, Radio or Paranoid Podcast, I can't remember what the name of it is, Lord. I pray for him as well. Uh, take away any strongholds. Uh, keep him on track, and uh, please uh, bless his life, Lord, and, and help him and his little, you know, his two girls. Help him to just hold it all together, and um, just to, you know, everything that he's going through, Lord. You know what he's going through. And you know what he needs. Catalyst. You know what he's going through. Know what he needs. And Jason. You know what he's going through. You know what he needs. And you know what I'm going through. You know what I need, Lord. Please supernaturally help us out, Lord. Thank you so much. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. All right. Let's go, baby. Catalyst, thank you for joining me, bro. I really love you, bro. And you know I got your back anytime, dude. <laughs> All right? Thank you, brother. All right, Jason. Love you, brother. Have a, and everybody that's listening, please give us – oh, actually, give uh, give the White Rabbit Podcast a five-star review and on Spotify, on Apple. Check them out on Rockfin. Also, give us a five-star review on Apple, Spotify, and then please subscribe to our YouTube. And if you guys want this glorious uh, cup, which you can't see because uh, – there you go. This cup right here is $25. If you want it, you could get it at, uh, by – you know. You can either email me at Josh Monday uh, at, at rockandmail.com and I'll tell you exactly how to get the cup. Just need your mailing address and $25 and we will get you this cup. It says uh, Psalms 19.1, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. God bless you guys and thank you so much for tuning in. We love you.